Alright, let's continue. Kinda, I keep thinking if the light's not, I'm trying to move forward, but I gotta stop doing that. Just sit here and talk, and relax, rest. I don't want to leave this place. Because there's a shine here, there's a, there's a purity here. There's a cleansing power here, there's an angel here. There's a visitation here waiting to happen. There's an activation here awaiting to happen. And the more I speak, it happens, man. It happens. You know, it, it just, I allow it. It flows. And it happens. I feel like a new, I feel a new level of childlikeness rising within me. And due to the pain I've had to go through, the heartache I've had to go through, God is rewarding me spiritually with a new level of childlikeness okay which is going to result in a higher level of experiencing the kingdom of heaven and my love is going to be more pure not lustful not wanting not i need this person to hold me i expect this person expectations of humans perishing and so these are going to be all these childlike streams that just flow in my life and i'm going to be freely loving freely kind Free in it, and I feel a freedom in my heart that I've never felt. It is, it's divine. It's not normal. It's not human. It's, it's, it's supernatural. Okay, it's not something you get from, um, your job. It's something the Holy Spirit gives to you. And I feel my heart getting bigger and bigger right now, and warmer and warmer, and purer and purer. And there's all these crystals shining in it. And my love and adoration and direction and focus and kindness and submission and the attributes of my character that's been developed in Jesus, when I speak, it's going to touch every part of a human being. And it's gonna, my words are gonna change people. Not my change change people, but my words are gonna change people. My words are gonna shape people. My words are gonna heal people. My words are gonna direct and guide people. My words are gonna shepherd people. In life, I had a vision earlier, an open vision. I was in this, I was in like the earth. I was in, you know how you plant a seed in the depths of the earth? I was in the depths of the earth. And the Lord was showing me like life is about digging, man. I had a shovel and other people stay stuck in one position. But life isn't just easy, okay? I think, we, I think even little kids know this. They have, a, they have enough wisdom to know life's not easy. But the one that has the shovel and is always digging is the one that's gonna con ten, con constantly find those streams, constantly find those roots, constantly find new seeds to pray over, constantly break new ground. And then there's people that aren't digging and they're stuck in one position. And so I saw myself and other people and I was just digging and digging and just and, and breaking more ground and getting more territory and breaking through and going to new roots of love and activating new seeds of plentiness and you know, violence the violent faith comes upon us violent faith comes upon us so God's given me like this position like Jesus will come and visit me when I have no other option a lot of times in your life you have a, you, in your mind you're like okay well if I'm not gonna go to church and I can just you know, I can still have sex and, you know what I'm saying, I love God, I'm getting closer in God. But when Jesus becomes your only option for you to even be able to breathe, for you to even be able to be happy, that's when you're going to start having encounters like, like normal encounters of him, when he becomes your everything. When you can't even think without him, when you get so just longing for him, he going to show up. And I just feel his presence here today. I want to tell you God loves you I love you and the Lord's he's shining on us right now his face you know I love it because I, I, I can see his face I can see the countenance because it says that his countenance up it beholds the upright the Bible says that so nose I command you to flow right now don't be sniffling don't be stuffing up in Jesus name because his, his countenance the light of his face shines to them that walk uprightly. So uprightness of Jesus is in me, but I need to get to that point where I'm in that upright mentality. Like I might come here and I just want to yell and scream, 
But as I go deeper, I get more calm, I get more gentle, I get more humble, and my uprightness starts to rise. My simplicity magnifies my uprightness. And so his face will behold that into a greater, 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 greater um, intensity and volume and measure of increasing his closeness of his vision towards me, like zooming in with your cell phone. Get that zoom in power, he'll zoom in more and more and more. And then you'll feel it. And it's like the most amazing feeling in the world because you know God is with you. Can I go as far as to say God's not with everybody? God was with David, but he was against David's enemies. So he wasn't, God wasn't with those people. Even though he's God, he's not, he's not with everybody. He's omnipresent, but that don't mean he's with everybody. But he's with us today. He's with us today. And if God be for us, who gonna be against us? Stop it, nose. In the name of Jesus, I'm gonna say it one more time and I ain't gonna say it again. Flow and be healed. Okay. So, there is incredible, an incredible rest that God is giving us. Let me keep my Bible open. I'm just getting started right now. If I got to go charge my phone and come back here, I will. Because God is turning this into a full-time ministry. Like, let me tell you, oh, I feel, okay, now we're getting something. We just went somewhere deeper. I just felt it in my conscious. I just felt God shine in my conscious. Um, 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 yes, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They, oh, I, ooh, I found a secret about David. And I was, because, because, I feel like slap, lucky ain't nobody in the car because I don't have to slap him. Because I'm feeling, I'm feeling a slapness in God. I'm feeling like God is removing barriers out of our way right now. Like I can literally see a pyramid. I can literally see geese. I can literally see like angels surrounding. I can literally see like all these spiritual beings. Okay. Like surrounding with these, like these sacred geometry patterns surrounding it, activating its light, activating its energy and activating its code and just shining in my brain and my soul and my mind. And my... I got the Holy Ghost. Now listen, listen. I can see it in the spirit. Okay, so so one what one thing that was so amazing about about David, he was so powerful but so gentle. And I just started being like that at my job, like I'm so authoritative against demons and initiating the order of God, but then I'm so gentle and kind. And the Lord said, by you doing that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock a soothing power in you. And your gentleness and kindness, it's gonna soothe people's soul. And your concentration to submitting your presentation of, because your presentation is being there. When you're at your job, God is present before you, like you're presenting yourself before people. So you have to learn to be in character, your attitude, and to shape all these formulas to be in this divine presentation. And you'll get, and it will, it will, it will, it will touch people. Like it will overlap people. It'll flow into people. It'll like shine on people. It'll like give people a new grace. They'll get kissed by the hand of God. And you get to just enter into their blessing, their reward, their spirit, what they're going through, their life. If they're successful, you enter into their success. And by loving them, adoring them, you're circulating that heart motion back and forward like a beautiful engine. And there's pleasure in that. There's divine pleasure in that. It'll flood out lust. It'll flood out temptation. It'll flood out. There's a spirit that floods out temptation where temptation can't even enter. But you have to have the revelation and wisdom of this. My adversaries are all before you. Insults have broken my heart and I am sick. And I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, you know how many times I've experienced this? I didn't have nobody to comfort me. But geez, I was all alone in the woods. You know how many times I've been alone in the streets, in the woods? My girlfriends left me, my family. I felt like I didn't have nobody just alone. But that's when I got to, that's when I got to face and face encounter the comforter. That's when I got to face and fa face to face encounter the heart healer. And so with my acquaintance with that, I now know he's there no matter what. 
I now know no matter what I go through in life, he's there. He's going to be there for me. May their table become a snare before them. That's our prayer over all satanic powers and all our enemies. May their table become a snare before them. And may their security, what they put faith in, become a trap. This is our prayer. Angels that hearken unto the voice of the word of the Lord. These are all my enemies and all these demons. May their eyes be darkened so they do not see me. My life, my future, my advancement. Light of Jesus, pour out. Pour out. See, this is, this is being poor in the spirit. He said, but I am poor and in pain. He didn't see his riches and his kingship and his money and his wealth. He knew, he saw his riches in God. His heart wasn't turned towards his riches. It was, torn, it was turned towards his richness in God. And I believe that there is a turnaround taking place. Salvation, our souls, our minds, our lives, our hearts, our wishes, there's a turnaround. And the hand of God is going to influence that turnaround. And those that catch it and perceive it, they're going to get a direct impartation. Because life's about catching things. Catching money. Catching ideals. Catching opportunities when they're available. And I'm grateful to God because I have nowhere else to go but Him. I can't even move forward unless He moves forward. Because I'll feel His pain. I'll feel what hurts Him. And it'll hurt me. I'll be in pain. I'll feel the burden He's holding towards somebody in the darkness that He's holding and bearing that iniquity and I'll bear it myself and so as my love and my devotion of intimacy and worship grows like I get overwhelmed by and just saturated by this glorious presence of God and it makes me feel settled no regrets no wondering no worrying it just it just it consumes me to the deepest parts of my life that touch me in a way nobody else can touch me. It gives me a security that no gun can shoot through, no thief can break in. Like it's this secret place that nobody can touch, nobody can harm, nobody can hurt, nobody can kill it, nobody can steal it. And just to just sit there and just, and that. In that place, it's very, it's very awesome. And we lift up the structures of our mind and ask God just to download his brilliance. Just whatever part of our mind had a demonic current in it, we flood it out in Jesus' name. And whatever hemisphere of our brain thought according to the devil or against the ways of God, we repent and flood it out and place the seeds of righteousness there. 
when we pluck up every ungodly root in our mother and our father and our family and our son and ourselves and our house and our marriage and our hopes and our dreams and our thinking and our frustration, we just pluck it up. Burn everything that's ungodly, burn the shaft and just release growth of holiness, just the growth of God, the growth of Christ, the growth of life, the growth of beauty, the growth of heaven into those areas. And we just speak supernatural deliverance and healing to this atmosphere. And we would just release the archangel warriors, the angels that specialize in healing, the angels that specialize in finances, the angels that work with salvation, the angels that help create the universe. And we just release them to build, establish the kingdom of God, bring healing to our nation, bring deliverance to the people in bondage, bring wealth of the wicked to the righteous, to complete what God has said and to take all our declarations in the spirit and all our prophecies and bring them to pass, to destroy and dismantle every satanic power against our destiny, to break down every evil monument and to shine the light of God on us, to shine courage on us, to flap their wings on us, to spread their wings to cover us, guardian angels to protect us, to protect our lives, to protect our cars, to protect our destiny, to protect our new jobs, to protect our phones, to protect our technology, protect our brains. Mm -hmm. And we just call on heaven just to shine on us, rain on us, bless our personality with more of Jesus, bless our eyes with more of Jesus, bless our mind with more of Jesus. Bless our love for Jesus. I just call forth a supernatural wave of maturity, understanding, comprehension, wisdom, devotion, focus to just flood this neighborhood, flood Jerusalem, flood Israel, flood Texas, flood the United States of America, flood our governments with the pureness of God. We just release worldwide blessings to where them blessings are due angels of honor let honor go to the chief police officers let honor go to those that have given their life into the army protect our army strengthen the hand of our president protect our states let wisdom let life let joy go into the people in high places let the let the demonic influ Michael let the demonic influence of Hollywood and of the entertainment business begin to diminish fight against the pornographic principalities let pornography begin to diminish and I just declare there's going to be a revival in our city in our own life in our house in our churches and there's going to be a fire and an oil that pours out and just people are going to be more activated in the spirit, more anointed than they ever been. I'm feeling Tracy Cook, come on. I'll be watching Tracy Cook. He's so simple, like so kindergarten, yet he's walking in miracles. And that's how, and yeah, let's keep going. And uh, I just speak a new level of grace, a new level of perseverance, persuasion, a new level of purity to come upon our economy. Just the dew and rain. I, I just declare it's going to rain manna and dew from heaven on our grass and our finances and our health and our minds and our body and our health and our spirit and our feet and our tendons and our muscles. The healing oil of God just to rain. And I just climb up this ladder of prayer, this ladder of intercession, this ladder of praise, this ladder of Jesus, Jacob's ladder, the ladder of the Bible. And I just climb and I just rise and I just grow bigger than ever, richer than ever, smarter than ever in Jesus' name, wiser than ever, more glorious than ever, more filled than ever, 
more alive than ever, more benefits than ever, more success than ever, more pleasure than ever, more joy in our wife, our friends than ever, more happiness in our life, more joy than ever. And I declare there's going to be an alliance of angels that show up any time a devil is released to come onto our property. And they're going to cause havoc on these devils. Havoc angels. Biohazard angels. you messing with the wrong one type of angels. A crushing power from the hand of God released to these angels. Upon my life, upon my ministry, upon my family, upon my heart. And I just ask that the Holy Spirit would, the ministry of my heart will be worked on today. Because I need healing in my heart. I need wisdom in my heart. I need love in my heart. I need repentance in my heart. All these things to purify my heart so I can be pure in heart so I can see God. His time, what he's doing, what he's saying, how he's moving, how he's talking, how he's thinking. And I just release the manifestation of God's presence to intensify more than ever over this atmosphere. Our homes, our cities, our nations, all the structures of life and civilization. And I just release light where there was darkness in my mind, in my heart, in my body, in my soul, in my hands, in my reach, in my step, in my march, in my sound, in my thinking, in my talking, in my doing, in my standing, in my sitting. I just speak new angelic musical notes to arrive to our doorstep. UPS angels to bring new blessings into our home, into our life, into our heart, into our atmosphere. FedEx angels to bring the blessings of the storehouse, of our destiny, of the books we gotta write, of the seeds we need to sow, of the wives and husband God has assigned to us, of the ministries and the calling and the finances and the abundance God has called to us. And I declare a greater release from the Father's hand to purge, to wash, to intensify His creation and to acquire His creation abilities and the attributes of significance to download upon the pavements of humanity into the minds of greatness and to establish an order of resurrection power into the symphony, the harmony, the order of the angelic code to come upon us as the oracle of wisdom and to enlighten us, intrigue us, even intimidate us. Where we walk through the storm to the mountain like Moses. And I declare that a greater preacher anointing, a pastoral spirit, will come upon us and we will preach the things of God in artistic ways, philosophical ways, po poetic ways. And we will align the universe with our hands and declare the decrees of the Most High with our fingers. And the tips of the touch of the sound of our voice will echo the nations and cause the kingdom of hell to tremble as the angels assemble popping every demonic pimple, filling myself with the Holy Spirit in my temple, so raw yet so simple. 
I declare money, buildings, tools, resources, lands, positions, people that are passing away to pass down the mantle, people that are stepping down that God, the hand of God's gonna step us up. People that haven't been faithful and are getting demoted, we gonna get promoted that have been faithful. People that have stepped down by choice, we gonna take those positions and occupy those capacities and feel those measures in Jesus' name. Because we haven't stopped, Lord. We have persevered in your name, Lord. We have held on to your faith, Lord. We have sown. We believe you're gonna move. Yeah. And we call down the love of heaven. Everything the third heaven, everything that's in the third heaven, we just call it down. New angels we haven't discovered. New discovery abilities we call down. New harvest potential powers we call down. New ways to energize ourselves in the Lord we call down. New freedom and passports we call down to this earth. A greater intensity and hunger for wisdom has just unlocked within us. Like when we gain wisdom now, instead of just, oh, he's talking about this, we're going to literally chew the raw spiritual power that's coming from that individual. When we see pastors, we're literally going to eat and chew on their pastoral anointing. Might sound crazy to you, but I love the intensity of God. And gentleness I can acquire more of it and the simplicity power is coming out it's overtaking us in purity and it's like a it's like a robe you can feel it wrapped around you as an armor as a as a tunic as a spiritual outfit and you live in it and speak in it and it's powerful it's God's power clothing us in gentleness I feel a greater layer of God's spirit so from now on when I speak it's going to have a greater effect on people a greater effect on the atmosphere. I feel like a greater layer of just God on me right now. But I had to get to a point of simplicity to acquire this. Otherwise it would have turned into utter chaos. Because there are greater powers of God's spheres that, I, that activate when you become more simpler and allow him to be powerful. And so there's this vault in our mind. What God is doing, there's this chamber. When the enemy of the world tries to send degrading thoughts, it's going to bounce off our mind and our mind's gonna turn into a God thought because the more we collect wisdom and knowledge and read the scripture, the circulation, it's gonna automatically produce godly results when the enemy tries to harm our minds that's a power that's coming upon us a protection power I have automatic angels that protect me this is another layer of protection power coming upon us ye 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 I feel God's presence very strongly and I would like to feel it stronger So um, I believe a multiplication power is coming upon us where whatever we ask, it will multiply. The answer will multiply. It'll be in the multiplication.
Because Jesus Christ is such a pure being. Pure being. So when you're purely in stillness, purely in surrender, purely focusing on love, no wicked intentions, not the need to gain or lose any of that, no intentions at all, no thinking behind it all, just purely in silence, stillness, meditation, the purity of God develops within that individual. And just sitting down in my chair and watching Masters of Wisdom and esteeming others higher than me and ceasing from my own wisdom, when I follow these three paradigms, I get supernatural shifts in my life. And I elevate higher in my devotion time. You know, the more you find ways to devote yourself to God, you know what? I'm going to see my family as a ministry and I'm going to devote myself to just 